<laughs> right, my name's DJ, and I'm going to tell you the true story about how I got into porn. <laughs> like most actors, I did it ass backwards. I got into comedy first, so I can get into porn. I was doing a show uh, in Vancouver about how Ron Jeremy's my hero. Because if the hedgehog can do it, I still have hope. So I'm doing this uh, set, and after the show, a guy comes up to me, gives me a card, says I was hilarious, blah, blah, blah. So the next morning, I call him up, and I said, you know, thank him for the laugh. And he's like, no, seriously, check out these sites and call me back. So I checked out the sites, and it turns out he was on them. So I call him back, like, oh, fuck, dude, you're on them. And he's like, okay, go get your test done, and then give me a call. So I went and got my STIs done, my sexually transmitted infection tests. Back then, it was different, because a big burly man put a Q-tip where no Q-tip has ever gone before. It was dramatizing. But I got them back, and to safe to say, I'm proud to say, I failed. It was negative. It's the one test in the world you're kind of hoping it's not a good thing, right? So I get him back, I call back the guy, the guy's like, great, Where's, what's your address? So we'll come pick you up. So I tell him where I live, and he goes, great, go shower and shave, and then, you know, we'll come pick you up. So I went, I showered and shaved, they came pick me up, I, I walked into the car, and I was like, how's this, is this close enough? He's like, not there, you idiot. <laughs> So, we get there, and you gotta remember, I've been drinking pretty heavily the night before. So, as I come out of my drunken haze, to the middle of having, you know, performing in the middle of the gangbang. So, I kind of come to, and my first questions were like, what's with the camera? Why is there so many guys? Who's she? And then, as time goes by, but it's coming to the end of the scene, and as we all know, as any most pornography enthusiasts know, the writing is not, the plot is pretty simple. <laughs> so we're coming to the end of the scene. And now it's my turn, and I'm like, you gotta understand, this was my first game game. So, I was confused. Was I, what's the etiquette? Do I wait? Do I rush in? Or is it like a meat market, and you pick a number? So it's coming down to my moment, and I'm, I'm getting there, and I'm thinking, fuck, what am I going to do? What the hell? Getting nervous. So you do what every person does, and you go to your happy place. And if you're not familiar with what a happy place is, it's that dirty little thought that gets you through the night. Right? So I go there, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, what makes me happy? What makes me happy? Oh, wait, grandma's cookies make me happy. All right, dude, now you're jerking off and thinking of your grandma. That's going to lead to therapy. <laughs> so eventually, it's coming to that moment. I'm getting there, and it's just like, now it's my turn. So I, I kind of stroll up. I'm nervous. I'm sweating. There's like fucking 12 guys in the room. It's kind of really nerve-wracking. But let's just say the job got done. <laughs> and now, nine months later, after my first gangbang, I now run them and organize them. And let's just say, one day, I am going to be in therapy. You guys are going to want to provide me to enjoy the rest of the show.